on to that. Let me, let's meet tonight's first guest. Damien Lee grew up in Ireland, <laughs> playing with heavy metal and indie groups and his family band Leaf. He moved down under for love, won Australian Idol and released an album that went quadruple platinum. Since then, he's written his first novel and recorded a brand new album, Where We Land. Yes, it's a big top of the evening to Damien Lee. <laughs> Initially, I was thinking this. No, I'm not pointing. You thought I was pointing. You, you, you were pointing down there. This. Awesome. It's a, <laughs> wow. It's all buttoned up. It's it's close. <laughs> First and foremost, uh, nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, here was me thinking, uh, having you on the show tonight was the first time we'd met, and no, then no. I realised it's not. We had, and I don't know if you remember this, a very awkward meeting at the Shrek 3 premiere. At the toilet? Yeah. Yeah, there was that kind of... Uh, you were yeah, coming out. Going? Yeah. <laughs> you had buttoned up. I had. It was all... I was on the way in. Yeah. Was... How was it for you? <laughs> it was quick. It was, uh, it was quick, yeah. Yeah, because it was now, probably quicker than I expected. So. Now, in that situation, <laughs> I'm not sure how to react. Like, you, you, uh, you, know, you were very gentlemanly about it. But I have this thing when I come out of a toilet that I worry that if I've washed my hands, I feel the need to explain it to people. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I, well, you know, I, I had wet hands at the time. I, I do remember they were a little bit wet and there was that kind of do I do, do I or don't I? Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, it's a dodgy moment. It I is know. a dodgy moment. It is. <laughs> There's no doubt in it. You know? Especially because we've never met. You don't want to go, you, you want to say, look, I'm clean. I, I don't my have bad aim. Yeah, it's like you're clean. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I was in that, I, I have that exact same scenario that I have to go through on a, on a routine basis. Now, are you, because I've heard you, you have had in the past uh, OCD. Yeah, that's right. So is, do you find that sometimes you have, is it hand washing and stuff like that? Yeah, I did my uh, fair share of a bit of hand washing, you know, lights on and off. When I was younger, I mean, I was, I was very young at the time. And uh, yeah, but you know, I had a couple of years there where I... Yeah, I did a bit of the old hand washing, had a uh, coarse hands from it and, and the whole thing. I'm worried I might be obsessive compulsive. Oh yeah. What should I look out for? Uh, <laughs> well if you if you have a tendency to do something many times <laughs> you've got it. You've got it. If you if you feel you're leaving the house and you're about ten blocks down the road and you go, wait a minute, maybe I didn't turn off the light. Maybe I should go back. All the way back. Oh really? Yeah, if you if you got that sort of tendency, there's a it's a good chance you gotta see that. Carrie used to walk home from school. Thanks, Ray. Thanks. <laughs> that is obsessive. <laughs> I, I just had the, a similar thing where I'd walk home and then halfway home I'd think, imagine if I had to walk all the way back to school and walk home again. Wouldn't that be awful? And then it, I'd have to do it and I'd do it and I'd do it a couple of times uh, a month. That's a sure sign. <laughs> and from a person that had OCD, I think Rome's got OCD. That's what I do. Hands up. So Thank that's, you very a, much. that's why we were both at Shrek, you know. Uh, <laughs> it, it seemed to be the right place for OCD. <laughs> it was us and a bunch of kids. We turned up the wrong <laughs> party. I, really, I, I thought we were going to get slimed or something. You know? yeah. like... um, so, now, do you get, uh, apart from weirdos like me who want to shake your wet hands, because you, uh, as well, missed the number one album in the country today. Thank you very much. <laughs> have two number one albums, you must get fans all the time. Do they come diddly diddly Damien? I want to say hi. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I do. You know, I get, um, I get all sorts of fans, you know. Uh, I, I, nutters? Uh, uh, I wouldn't say nutters, but, you know, I get a few, you know, particular, particularly strange things happen every now and then, you know. Uh, I've had to sign the odd ass here and there. Nice. <laughs> I have, it's nice. true. But I have to say, my fans are fantastic. But uh, yeah, there's been one or two kind of strange times, you know, knickers and things like that. Do you Damien, really sorry, Damien, when you sign the arse, you'd put Damien on one cheek and then Leith on the other? Or <laughs> I, what's I, what's I do, your... I try to spread it. <laughs> <Yeah>. spread it. <laughs> for, for a fact. You know, so. No, I thought that was just a cliche. You, have you actually had underpants thrown at you? I've had underpants. I, I nearly got in trouble because I, I brought home a pair of... I, well, I didn't intentionally bring them home. They, they ended up in, in a bag. <laughs> Uh, honestly, they ended up in a bag <laughs> that happened to come back to my house and there was a pair of knickers in that bag and, uh, and my wife pulled them out and said, oh, crusty knickers, where did, where did these come from? <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's a true story. It's a true story and, and there was someone 
threw them onto the stage the old slingshots. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the school lunch at the end of the term when you suddenly you empty out the lock and you just kind of go, oh, that's right, I forgot I had those in there. Did you try that excuse? <laughs> I, I, no, I, well, I tried to say, well, you know, they, they got thrown on the stage and all the rest, but um, yeah, my, my wife looked at me and she knew, she knew. <laughs> she knew it was all innocent, it was all innocent, so she, she knows me better than that. So. Do women throw bring undies to throw or do they throw the undies they're wearing like is it a <laughs> good point carrie I, I, i've never, I've well, never, I've never <laughs> done it but like do you bring your sexiest pair of undies and throw it or is it you, in the heat of the moment you get all so you, throw your <laughs> you throw your sexy ones but you wear your bog catchers is that what you're saying <laughs> I never check, but I, I, I think to bring, I think to bring them and, and the throw plane. them. So it's, it's a very nice thing. It's a nice, it's a nice gesture. Gesture. <laughs> <laughs> so if you could please. Now, of course, well, we're in the process of finding our new idol at the moment. We're yeah. just getting into the, the really good stuff now. Do you, as a winner, especially one who's going well, are you kind of hoping that this one won't be so successful? That's are you sort of watching just going, oh, please be one of the ones who don't quite That's make it? terrible. I, 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 it's a fair uh, question. Because <laughs> um, not all of them are going to... Uh, not every idol winner becomes a huge star. Um, you know, actually, to be totally honest, I've, I've only seen a few episodes so far, and, and you know, I say good on them. Uh, I, you know, for what I've been doing over the last one, I'm just trying to kind of set up my own thing. And uh, you'd like to think that it doesn't matter who wins. You know, at the end of the day, I'm doing my thing, they're going to do their thing. But... Um, yeah, no, I say good on them. I'll give away the TR at the end of the year and, <laughs> and uh, you know, do the old if you, if you do give away the TR and someone from the crowd asks you about finding a US map on a world map, <laughs> <laughs> have an answer planned. If we had maps, we would... <laughs> <laughs> Just a little tip. Hey, here's a tip for you. Want to try to win 20 bucks in 20 seconds? Yes, I'd love not to. really a tip. I'd love to. No, no. Do you want me to... Oh, no, no. I'll throw it at you with my crusty jocks. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice guy, crusty jocks. They, they, no, he's a lovely guy. Lovely guy. All right, let's start the clock. A gentleman. <laughs> Are all Irish people funny? Uh, yes. <laughs> if you had lost Idol, what would you have done straight afterwards? Um, I would have got pretty trashed at the after party. Actually. Have you ever altered a Wikipedia page? No, I haven't. No. Are you going to go bald? Probably. <laughs> you hear it banging on the roof of your car. Do you run straight to the police or do you look back? You look back. <laughs> do you pee in the shower? <laughs> I haven't done today. <laughs> I'm not ruling it out. To date. I like that. I'm not ruling it do out. Do wash your hands afterwards, please. And Damien Leaf, who would you turn gay for? Um, well, I had to think long about this question and uh, I was standing beside Pete earlier on. And I noticed he was wearing links. Oh. Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We've never had that answer with the porno music. There you go, Damien. Well done. Well done. Thank you, man. There we go. <laughs> Try to get the jocks off. Hang on a second. <laughs> This is it, where we land, which Damien on the charts uh, at number one. Damien on tour around the country as well. Check our website for details. Thank you, Damien Lee. Go stick around. We'll be back with more show after this.